Welcome to another video from the Voyager Robotics Classroom. I'm Trevor Lewis. This is the first video by request. If you want to know how to do something specific, leave me a YouTube comment and please subscribe. This video will show you how to use a picture from the internet to inspire a 3D printed cookie cutter design. Please check out my previous videos about SketchUp cookie cutters on my website. The first thing you need is a picture. You can get this from Google Image Search like me or anywhere else. Please be careful when using copyrighted images. To save the image, click View Image, then right click and choose Save Image As. Make sure you remember where you saved it. I'm going to assume you can watch any of my other SketchUp videos to get the basics of a cookie cutter. As always, we'll use the Product Design and Woodworking Millimeters template. As usual, we're going to start with a reasonably sized rectangle and use Zoom Extends to set up our initial view. To get the picture into SketchUp, choose Import from the File menu. If your image isn't showing up, choose All Supported Image Types from the File Type menu. Before you click Open, make sure you're importing as an image. Don't choose New Matched Photo. Even though it sounds right, that option is really more for 3D perspective, architectural type photos. After you click Open, click once to place the image, and once more to set its size. We can get rid of our reference rectangle now. Next, you want to turn your image into a group so you can have some more options. Right click to explode the image, triple click to select all, then right click to make it a group. Now that it is a group, we're going to want to lock the group so we can't accidentally move it or anything like that. We're also going to choose X-ray mode by choosing the menu View, Face Style, X-ray. When we're ready to toggle this off, we can just select it again. X-ray mode is usually to allow you to see interior or hidden geometry, but today we're going to use it to fade the image a bit to make the lines we draw on top of the image stand out more. Now we're ready to start copying the design. If you want flowing curves, I recommend using the arc tool. You can control the number of segments in your arc by pressing the number, S, enter while drawing an arc. Use the cyan line tangent at vertex to make sure the previous curve lines up with the next. Double click the end point to lock in that curvature or move slowly back and forth until you find it. You can also ignore the tangent at vertex reference if you want to make a corner. Zoom in and out with the scroll wheel while drawing your arcs to avoid snapping to inferences that you don't want. Zoom in to choose your ideal location and zoom out to see the overall picture. Remember, you don't have to exactly match the image. What's more important is your artistic representation of what's there. Once you have the outline, you can follow the instructions in my cookie cutter with symmetry video. Pay attention to the tips for how to handle more complicated designs. Thanks for watching and please check out my other videos. Leave a comment and subscribe.